The next law we're learning is Gay-Lussac's, and this one relates pressure with temperature. Again, we're dealing with temperature, so it must be in Kelvin. This law says that when the, press the temperature increases, the pressure will increase. We're going to do a couple of problems together. Um, it's hard to read it, but you find the PowerPoint presentation in Blackboard, and we can follow it from there. The first problem says that we have a gas that has a pressure of two atmospheres and the temperature is 18 Celsius. Well, we're dealing with temperature, so we need to convert that to Kelvin immediately. So that's 291 Kelvin. The new pressure is the question P2 because they increase the temperature to 62 Celsius. We need to convert that to Kelvin to plus 273 and, and temperature 2 is going to be 335 Kelvin. So we're going to use our equation. P, P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2 and we're going to be solving for P2. In order to solve it, P2 is equal to P1 T2 over T2. One. We're going to substitute of our, all of our values there, and we have P2 equal to. Our initial pressure was 2 atmospheres. Our T2 was um, 370, uh, 335, and our T1 was um, 291 Kelvin. We do the calculations, and we end up with P2 equals 2.3 2 atm. Please refer again to the, to the PowerPoint presentation for the second problem. Second problem, um, solve for the final pressure. So we have P1 and T1, the, the question is P2. The initial pressure is 1.20 atm and the initial temperature is 75 Celsius. We need to convert that to Kelvin, so T1 is equal to 348 Kelvin um, and the, the final temperature was negative 22 Celsius so we're going to convert that to Kelvin and that is um, 251 Kelvin. So we get our equation and we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So we're going to solve for uh, P, P2. P2 is equal to P1 over T1 times um, T2 and we substitute our values. So that's 1.2 atm times 251 Kelvin over 348 Kelvin. When we do the calculations, P2 equals to points A6 ATM. The vapor pressure, um, if we do it in a closed container, the vapor that the, the liquid is exerting on the surface, uh, the gas is exerting on the surface of the liquid is equal to the vapor pressure. When the vapor pressure and the atmospheric pressure are equal to each other, then the liquid will boil. Again, when the atmospheric pressure and the vapor pressure are the same, the liquid boils. So for example, for water, at um, um, sea level, water boils at 100 Celsius. Depending on the, um, the pressure, we'll have different boiling points for water. This is at sea level, 100 Celsius, but as we move higher in the mountains, um, the boiling point of water will be uh, higher. Next law that we are learning is combined gas law. This one combines uh, Boyle's, Charles, and Gay-Lussac. And this says P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Again, since we're dealing with temperatures, we need to make sure that we remember 
that our uh, temperatures need to be in Kelvin for all these calculations. We're going to do one problem together. Um, we have conditions P1, V1, T1, P2, V2, and T2. So we have, this is our initial volume, and the pressure is 0.8 atm and the temperature 29 Celsius. Again, that doesn't work because we have to have it in Kelvin, so we immediately we add 273 to give us 302 Kelvin. Our P2 is um, 3.20 atm, volume is 0.90 liters, and we don't know T2. So we're gonna work with the um, combined gas law. P1 V1 equals uh, over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2 and we're going to solve for T2. Here we do cross multiplication and we have T2 equals P2 V2 T1 over P1 V1. So we're going to solve for T2. T2 equals 2. P2 was 3.2 atm. V2 is 0.90 liters. Um, T1 was 302 Kelvin. All this divided by P1, which was uh, 0.8 atm, times V1, which was 0.18 liters. So we do our calculations and we end up with T2 equals to 6,040 Kelvin. Next law we're learning is Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law relates number of moles and volume. And it says that if we increase the number of moles, the volume will increase. Temperature and pressure remain constant. So let's do this problem together. Um, we have V1, N1, V2, N2. So we have initially 0.75 moles and in a volume of 0.5 liters. V2, we don't know, and we change the, vol the amount of moles to 1.2 moles. So what we're going to do now is use our equation. V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. We're going to solve for V2, so we multiply here, here they cancel out, and then we end up with V2 is equal to V1 over N1 times N2. We substitute our values there, and we got V2, V2 is equal to 1.5 liters times 1.2 moles over uh, 0.75 moles. We do the calculations and we end up with um, V2 equals to 2.4 liters.